Welcome to the uh, uh, beginner's tutorial. Today I'll be talking about Microsoft Azure um, storage basics. I've already uh, logged on to the uh, to the Azure portal, new portal. So let's quickly create a, a premium storage account. Okay, for that uh, you have to uh, click on new, and uh, under the search you can type storage, or um, or you can go to uh, data plus storage click on it it will list featured apps scroll down a little bit and select the storage account okay so now uh, we have to provide some information basic information like name of the storage account right so um, you can uh, provide like depending my uh, storage uh, 001 and uh, the deployment model I'm using resource manager general purpose account so first we will see how to create a premium storage select the performance as premium storage okay and um, the uh, subscription and the resource group uh, I'll be using the existing one or you can go ahead and create a new one okay use existing one so click on the drop down select that and uh, the location is west us it's a default one all right so this is very important guys so uh, you have to ensure that i mean you're selecting premium storage click on create and uh, so it is uh, it is deploying and it will take a minute to uh, create it let's uh, quickly uh, wait for that so it gives uh, remember uh, since this is a, a test subscription um, the premium storage will have only the uh, the the LRS that is the local uh, uh, redundancy not a geo uh, replication okay so um, and uh, if you look at here we don't have a, a called as a, something called as storage accounts okay so after it is created you have to check under the resource groups go back to the resource group click on my first resource group and your uh, premium storage will be uh, listed out here once it is done okay so this is the one uh, we created just now so uh, see the premium storage all right let's quickly uh, check what different features we have here okay under the uh, storage account so under the settings we have the resource group the status uh, it shows whether it's a premium or standard and the replication it's LRS or GRS and the location the subscription ID okay and um, under the settings we have a uh, diagnose and solve problems and uh, you can create go and create new support uh, request uh, related to any issues you're facing with the Microsoft and under the properties we'll be having the same information okay and uh, the access keys are very important guys because um, uh, this is uh, some um, I mean you I mean you need these access keys uh, you know uh, for uh, for uh, for uh, you know for configuring anything All right so um, i mean especially in case when you're copying something uh, any any files or any vhds from the on prem to the storage account so you require the access keys all right and the configuration under the configuration we have uh, uh, i mean which which uh, it's a standard or premium and the encryption you have to enable encryption right and the uh, shared access signature you have to enable this one too and the tags logs and you know the users we already uh, uh, already uh, reviewed for uh, other workloads so for this uh, storage um, I would like to see uh, a specific thing so so here also you can uh, directly uh, I mean retrieve the uh, access keys information here and the next one is a quick start next one is the use access you can specify the users uh, roles and everything all right and uh, let's get into more detail now so if we click on here services the blobs so there is no container so let's go ahead and create a new container 
um, so my first uh, container all right so um, click on create so we have created a, a container under uh, the premium storage and you can look at that see the URL it, it, it's showing as for this container um, my first storage 001.blob.core.windows.net forward slash my first container so under this uh, whatever the files you're uploading or uh, from the on-prem or VHDs it will be listed here okay so um, this is guys uh, about the uh, premium basic information about the storage and if you want to delete uh, you can delete it and uh, we'd like to see whether uh, the other thing uh, uh, whether we have any feasibility of you know uh, 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 moving a uh, upgrading a standard storage to a premium storage because nowadays most of the customers would like to know uh, we have any feasibility uh, as far as I know there is no direct option but I would like to go and try one okay so uh, for that what I'll do is I will uh, create a new um, new storage a standard storage um, so uh, time to load that so let's quickly wait for uh, a minute all right so let's uh, since it up, click on storage account so now we are uh, going to create a, a standard account okay a standard storage account and then we will see whether we are getting any option to upgrade to premium storage okay right so uh, my first uh, my first standard storage and uh, so we are selecting uh, standard here and ensure that the deployment deployment model is a resource manager and uh, since the standard we have various uh, replication options okay and uh, use existing resource group and uh, click on create so it's uh, validating and it will uh, create uh, deploy the standard storage in next uh, couple of minutes so uh, deployment started so we need to go back and uh, check under resource groups it should be uh, it will list here uh, refresh refresh I think it's taking its own time it still says uh, deploying yeah let's wait for a minute this is the one my first standard uh, storage uh, all right so this is the one we created just now and uh, let's quickly check the settings it is a standard one and now see uh, we have blobs we have files we have tables we have queues but in premium storage we have only the blobs okay and uh, the same thing the access key you can and um, go back to the settings and the configuration see uh, the option is grayed out so I uh, I'm not sure okay let's change this now it is not giving any option to directly upgrade um, to premium so uh, So I guess uh, we have to use a PowerShell command, but still, I mean, this feature is not uh, uh, is not given from the new portal also. Okay. Yeah, we have so many workarounds. You can use a, a PowerShell command to uh, upgrade the, uh, uh, the the storage from the premium to, st to from standard to premium, guys. All right. So this is about the um, about the uh, standard and premium storage. Okay. And if you want to. 
uh, specifically uh, look for the um, the pricing part so you have to use the uh, the pricing uh, uh, this thing okay so you look at here so um, the blob storage you can select the region whatever the region you want and uh, and the currency and currently it's a uh, west us minus and it says uh, first terabyte so it varies with the replication options what we have and this for the blob storage and for the disk storage and uh, if i'm using a premium disk then if the disk is a p10 then it's a uh, um, 19 dollars and it's p20 it's a 73 dollars and p30 is all right so um so the, the disk will come into the uh i mean uh, the uh, virtual machines workloads okay not in the uh, storage and uh, the file storage the same thing guys it's uh, per uh, gb they're charging and for the uh, table storage it's a different thing and for the queue storage you can see uh, the prices all right and uh, if you want to know about the um, so uh, this is uh, about the the pricing guys uh, for the uh, premium storage and standard storage you can use the calculator or your calculator so if any queries then please uh, use the comment section and uh, do like the videos and uh, going forward uh, uh, i'll be uploading a lot of uh, beginner tutorials for azure and uh, yeah share the videos um, and thank you so much for